Today we're going to talk about earthquakes. An earthquake can happen anywhere and at any time and without warning. A sudden, rapid shaking of the ground caused by the shifting of rocks beneath the Earth's surface. Earthquakes can cause fires and tsunamis, landslides, and avalanches. There can also be serious hazards such as leaking gas, down power lines, and collapsing buildings. And here's the part you need to pay attention to. This is what the sensationalists are not telling you. They talk about the death counts and the damage report, but they don't tell you how to survive. Now, in the event of an emergency such as this, I strongly and personally suggest wearing a helmet. That's optional, but I strongly suggest. Anyways, as I was saying, how to survive an earthquake. One, drop. Drop to your hands and knees before the earthquake knocks you down. Two, cover. Cover your head and neck. And hide under a sturdy table or desk. And three, hold on until the shaking stops. Again, that was one, drop, two, cover, and three, hold on. I'm oh, sorry about that, but I'm not serious. Oops, sorry, did it again. If an earthquake happens while you're indoors, avoid windows and doorways, tall furniture, or objects that could fall on you. You could be hurt by shattered glass or falling debris. If you're outside when an earthquake happens, get away from buildings, power lines, or anything that could fall on you. If you're in bed during an earthquake, stay in bed. Turn face down and cover your head with a pillow. Now, if you're in a car during an earthquake, or any kind of vehicle... Uh-oh! Calmly pull over... ...and set the parking brake. Remember to always be vigilant in prayer in any situation. Please. Oh, you can. Please, I ask of this. Thank you, Lord! Don't park on or under a bridge. Uh, now if you're trapped under fallen debris or rubble from a fallen building, Try banging on a pipe or wall. There's an opening. Try calling out for help. And cover your mouth to avoid breathing in concrete dust. Or leaking gas. Hello, can anybody hear me? Please? I'm stuck. I need some help getting out. Now, often before an earthquake happens, there will be inexplicable flashes of light in the sky or tremors in volcanoes. Also, right before an earthquake, bugs start howling. <coughs> Mice start running away because they can sense the vibrations of an earthquake. Recently, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake trampled. Turkey and Syria. Over 45,000 dead. And almost 100,000 injured. Deadliest quake in over a decade. With a 7.5 aftershock. Followed by over 100 more aftershocks. Thousands of buildings collapsed. Many were sleeping when it happened. And were trapped under the rubble of their homes.
Hello? Hello? Help! Help! Bitterly cold temperatures and poor weather conditions made rescue and recovery efforts a challenge. And survivors could be trapped for weeks after the earthquake, waiting to be extricated and awaiting rescue. Many died from hypothermia, starvation, and lack of water. Man, I'm thirsty. In the recent aftermath from the 7.8 quake that struck Turkey and Syria, over 5 million people were displaced from their homes, left living on the streets in freezing temperatures. Now in an event like this, any stockpiles of food, water, or whatever you have prepped will be buried beneath the rubble of the ruins. The earthquake struck without warning. While they were sleeping, many are now living in tents and there's hardly any food. Not nearly enough supplies such as medicine. Many have diarrhea and are without toilet paper. Millions are in despair and in need of prayer. And if that wasn't bad enough, two weeks after the 7.8 quake, a 2.2 solar flare caused a 6.3 earthquake in Turkey and Syria. Seriously? Yes, I'm being serious. And more buildings collapsed. Oh, man. Are you seriously serious? I am serious. Seriously serious. Many people were buried alive. Lord, please help them. And if you didn't know, as I speak, California is being smothered by a massive snowstorm. They've had snow before, but not this big of an amount. So there's that as well as the landslides and mudslides and sinkholes in various places, you can Google it. It's all happening so rapidly, I can only keep up with so much. Today's episode was about earthquakes.